Hello, and welcome to Shooting Voodoo. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I can use a rifle sling as a shooting aid to help get you on target better when you can't use the prone position. I want to go through the parts of a good shooting sling, how they interact with your body, as well as some things you have to think about when you're getting into a sling-supported shooting position. First, let's go over the parts of a good shooting sling. Slings such as this one, as well as the M1907, the Tab Gear Sling, and the TIS Slip Cuff, I'll work off the same general principle of providing a loop that the shooter passes their arm through and tighten against their, against their bicep to pull the rifle into their body. That makes up the front half of the rifle sling. The rear portion is there only to adjust the length of the sling when using it as a carry strap. It has no bearing when using the sling as a shooting aid. Now I'm going to get into a sling supported shooting position and show you some of the things you have to think about. Now whether I'm using a sling, a sitting sling supported shooting position or a kneeling position, I like to put the rifle in the pocket of my hip or on my thigh and cradle it in my right arm. This is already set up for a bottom attachment point and I can actually disconnect the rear portion since it has no bearing when using it as a shooting aid. From there all I have to do is create the loop and give it a little half turn that sets up the loop perfectly to pass my arm through. Pass my arm through and get it as high up on my bicep as possible. Now I'm going to take this arm and push out, tighten the loop around my bicep. Take this arm, wrap it around the sling so that it lays flat against the wrist and go on to the back to the loop. I don't want any kind of twist or anything in there. That lets you know if you have a problem. It needs to be flat. From there, I'm going to take this elbow and put it forward in the knee. That's also very important. You don't want the elbow resting directly on top of the kneecap. It's going to roll around too much and ruin your stability. You can have it also behind there a little bit, but usually forward works better for most people. It's also important to have the elbow and the arm as far underneath the rifle as possible. Have it out to the left too far, your muscles are going to be doing most of the work and you're going to get tired too fast. Get that elbow forward in the knee, place the buttstock in the pocket of my shoulder, and observe through the scope and find my target. At this point, you can make any adjustments that you need to make to get your lined up with the target. Now, it's important when using a sling supported shooting position, have a good natural point of aim, just as you would with the prone position. Also, just like in the prone position, you have to observe the fundamentals of marksmanship proper trigger control, good breathing, as well as breaking the shot at the bottom of the breathing cycle. Just because you're in a sling supported position doesn't mean you throw those things out the window. If I'm not lined up perfectly where the reticle line falls on the target, I'll have to adjust my position, make sure that I have a good natural point of aim. Also helps me to take a couple of dry fire shots, make sure that nothing might change. My front hand here also doesn't have a kung fu grip on the fore end of the stock. The stock is just kind of being pulled into my hand I'm just lightly gripping it. You don't want to be really grabbing that thing, you just kind of want it to be relaxed. To get out of the sling all I have to do, pull on it, open up the loop, pull my arm out. From there I can reattach the rear sling, the rear flush cup, and the sling's back to being used as a carrying strap. Now some things to consider also, if you're having a custom stock made or you're getting a chassis type system like the AICS, the McCree's Precision, they can have sling attachment points on the left, the bottom, and the right hand side of the stock. As a right handed shooter, if I had a sling attachment point on the right side, I could just directly attach the sling there. I wouldn't have to give it that little twist that I showed earlier. All I'd have to do is attach it, create the loop, and pass my arm through. Pulls the stock into the hand a little differently, and for some, it's actually a lot more comfortable and more stable. Just something that's personal preference and 
kind of have to try out to see if it works. The other important thing is to always practice with a sling supported shooting position. It's not a really an intuitive type of thing. It takes a lot of practice to become good. So the more you practice, hopefully the better you get. The higher your scores are going to be in some of the competitions where these things are prevalent. So that's pretty much it for the fundamentals and the basics of using a shooting sling in a lot of different positions. There's a lot of sitting variations out there as well as kneeling. So it's all personal preference on which one works best. So you got to practice all of them, see which one works best in different positions. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more from shootingvoodoo.com.